purpose of this demonstration is to highlight the basic functions of our Roofscape software and how to create the three-dimensional model of a roof from which you will prepare your customer's quotation. The most usual method is by building the roof entering each dimension individually. This might sound like it's a slow way but in fact usually it's the quickest way. We use the measurements provided by our customer and I have a sketch here that I'll be using and then by adding the dimensions in the cell we can end up with the correct measurements without getting our calculator and then when we get to our penultimate line we select close and close square. This as is an important step as it allows us to verify the measurements are correct. If these measurements do not match the plan then we've imported the measurements incorrectly or the drawing is incorrect. We select finish if we're happy and then we define the basic parameters of the roof. The story, the slope, let's make this roof 612. Uh, the eave height, let's make that 11. And then anything else that we need to change, we hit OK. And then we're prompted to define vertical planes. And by definition, a gable end is a vertical plane. We select continue, and the software constructs our roof. This is a true three-dimensional model of the roof. If we zoom fit in each of these views, you will see that we are working in a true 3D environment. Let's go back to a single view now and our isometric view of it and uh, we'll add necessary architectural features. As uh, I'm sure you're aware, hardly ever is a roof simple hips and valleys. So the first thing we wish to insert on here is perhaps our atrium. Now an atrium is a hole in the roof at the eave line and we make the distance along the eave say 40 atrium depth say 16 with uh, 9 and we hit OK and the atrium is inserted. That's to go around a lift well perhaps or a chimney whatever is required. Another feature we have on the modify roof buttons is what we call drop eave and that extends the eave line along the direction of the pitch of the roof as you see there. The complicated feature to add on most programs is what we call a, a, a dormer and you will see with our program it is very very simple. You simply specify the distance along the eave, the setback from the eave and the width. We preview what we wish to see there and if we like it we hit insert and it goes in. Nothing could be simpler. If we stick a dormer on this eave, preview what we see, we like it, we hit insert, continue. If we don't like it, we don't. The next thing we would add on the roof, perhaps, is a, uh, a second story. And in this, we use our digitize function, which is also the way we digitize underlay images. That's the topic of another video. We use our middle mouse button to snap it to the corners of the existing geometry and we close square and we hit OK and then we specify this is a second story and perhaps define whoops, whatever the eave height is. We hit OK and then continue and the second story roof is constructed. So as you can see there now we have exactly the roof model that we were seeking and all the information about it is displayed. If we go back to our plan view for a moment, we then use our tools menu to check that the geometry of this roof is correct. If we turn the roof planes off, we dimension the overall, we dimension up the slope, we dimension ridge to eave, and we then show the quantities. If we're happy with all of this information, we then select file and prepare quotation and all this information is sent to the AppliCAD server via the internet and using values that you've input when you set up your system a quotation is prepared with your dollar values for materials and dollar values for installation labour. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions send an email to support at applicad.com.au and we look forward to working with you. Thank you for your time and thank you for downloading Roofscape.